welcome to Panthaki Learn. Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. So here, now we are going to see with a different image. Now I'm going to apply a thermal image, thermal scanning of a hand. The same progress. First, let us see for four clusters. So if you are going to see for four clusters means comment out this particular portion and run the code. So here we will be able to take that k-mean segmentation in order to get an accurate uh, temperature over here. Okay, so like k2, k1. Uh, this and all not needed. Yeah, this is nothing but the grayscale image. And this one is the original image. So according to this original image if you want to select out the region only for uh, the temperature affected area means you can go with this so this is a different region of temperature okay you can see this particular part okay so this particular part if you see this this means for k equal to 1 okay the same thing if you go for k equal to 2 is not needed 2 is completely blank so this is nothing but the 2. Okay, so here we won't be able to get any of the segmentation for 2 clusterings. And if you are going with 3, yeah. So if you are going with 3, for that some part of temperatures can be recognized. Okay, that is which part means this particular part. This orange one. This is yellowish and light orange. This is pure orange. Also can be said as uh, initial stage of the red. Okay, so only that part is segmented over here and that can be used okay uh, by taking the GLCM values or any other required image processing values we will be able to detect it. Okay, so this means for clustering 3 and if you go for the fourth clustering, fourth clustering it completely takes only this yellow part. Okay, if you measure here, here. Uh, yellow wherever the yellow is getting mixed up with green wherever the light and green is available for that particular space we can take this cluster number four okay so this is one sort of segmentation can be done with thermal imaging now the same thing we are going to apply with eight clusters okay so here i am going to apply eight clusters for the double data okay so whenever we are comparing with the uh, original one here here also there is no use of cluster 6 and yeah, cluster 5 have some data until cluster 4 we have seen already okay even though we have seen there are some changes so inside this now we no need to use cluster 1 and cluster 6 okay why in the sense uh, this is not needed be there yeah because cluster 1 it is going to take only the outer portion of the hand which is not required for us only the blue portion okay so therefore we are rejecting it and if we go for the second cluster wherever the orange is provided only the orange has been clearly segmented okay only the orange portion has been clearly segmented over here so that comes under the second cluster then if we go for the three only the yellow portion the highlighted yellow portion has been segmented over here then if we move for the third part yeah so if you are going with the fourth cluster therefore some regions where the orange portions has been extended okay other than the inner orange the outer space of the orange are mixed with yellow so that particular portions can has been taken highlighted way even some parts of the green also has been taken over here okay so even this particular meter also we will be able to vary it so that comes under the cluster 4 and for the cluster 5 only some patchworks then and there that has been selected so here we won't be using this uh, cluster value and if you go for 7 so this particular portion has been highlighted so for each and every clusters we have the then and there reputed data over there that is the reason so similarly like this for cluster 8 so this comes under the part of clustering for thermal image now the same thing if i apply another one image okay so here also we have eight clusters so for each and every place we are able to cluster some different objects 
except cluster 1 use this processing states okay so this is our original so inside cluster 1 nothing is clustered if you go for clustering 2 so this particular fruit has been clustered which is almost in uh, yellow colors everything has been clustered over here yellow as well as the light part i'm not sure why the banana is not clustered and from this this particular portions has been clustered so for a little bit clear one can move with uh, k equal to 4 for all the yellow based uh, fruits and in fifth one only the grapes and the pomegranate parts has been clustered go for six this will be the state seven and eight so if you want to train each and every data means you have to select the different different clustering options over there okay so this is what happens in multicolor clustering now the same thing all the ids has been stored in the double data we have said it so those data are so this will be that particular data everything is written as one one seven three four okay so these are nothing but the clustered data that has been obtained for us and similarly let us try the clustering even with the brain tumor image let's take the tumor brain itself and provide it as input now let us run the code so for a single brain with tumor, eight clusters we have applied. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One end of this, one end of this, one end of grayscale image, and this is the original image. So from this different images, the cluster one, no use of it. Inside the cluster two. Uh, we are able to separate, uh, we are able to get only at least this portion. So this is also not accurate for tumor, but this particular portion, it is more accurate, most accurate. So we can select this and uh, this is not detecting the tumor. It is detecting all the outer portions. So this also can be taken like cluster. clustering of three and four forms a complete image. Even five also can be taken over here, whereas six cannot be accepted. 7 is accepted and 8 is also accepted for separation. So only these many clusterings we are able to get a good range of value. Now for the same image, let us try what will be the clusters of 4. So that we will be able to get a limited amount of clustering in a good resource manner. 1, 2 and 4. So these are the original images grayscale image and uh, this is this is the original so here k1 except the tumor everything has been clustered k equal to 2 nothing is clustered k3 the tumor alone has been highlighted very good so k1 and k2 combines into a single brain k4 that is also accepted in rare cases so in this way only the medical images also can be clustered over here the next part the same way only uh, applying with uh, background separation so based on the intensity here we will be able to analyze the different backgrounds so this is just a bonus part so according to that uh, particular processing here there are totally seven objects and i also don't know how the seven objects are there i think here only it is being collected like one two three four five six seven so each and every shapes it is uh, considering it as object only okay then let us try with the fruits image one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so this is known as the objects yeah so this is another part so that is a simple kind of a background separation from that we are able to uh, count how many objects are there because that background separation is also a part of uh, segmentation purpose so for that here we will be applying the histogram and here we will be using that separation part. So for separation only here we are using this. So on basis of this STREL, this particular command only, we will be able to provide the background separation over there. BG separation is known as background separation. Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, 
kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends don't forget to subscribe our channel Thank you.